for this video, I wanted to share the story of my motorcycle accident, which is how I became a paraplegic from the chest down. From the chest down, the nipple line down, I can't feel anything, I can't move anything. So I was, this is about five years ago, I was a part-time police officer, a full-time plumber, an HVAC technician. I wanted to become a full-time police officer. And so I moved my family down to this little city. And the, the day I moved my family down, that night my wife wanted to go to bed. She was tired and I was so excited to be there. I wanted to go to the PD and let everybody know that I moved down there and so I went to the PD, she went to bed and there was only one officer on duty, it's a small town and I visited with him for a little bit then I left and I was on my motorcycle and it was just such a beautiful night I was like I'm just gonna ride around a little bit and so I left the PD after the officer and I waved to him and that was the last thing I remember. I, th this was about 1030 at night. I went east on this street. I don't remember doing this. About a mile down, I turned around and as I came back, a deer hit me. And they say that because there was no paint transfer or anything like that. And you could not see me or my motorcycle from the road. I was pushed off. Everything was pushed off the road. I was in a ditch six feet down. I woke up eight hours later. And it was, it was like dawn outside. And... I didn't understand what was going on. I couldn't move. My phone was ringing behind me and I couldn't get to it. And the only thing I could do was was barely raise my hand and I tried to raise it up above the grass blades that were in front of me. I didn't know if that was going to help or not. And I tried yelling for help and I could barely do that. See, my lung capacity is diminished from, from my chest line down. And I had six broken ribs, six on one side, six on the other, uh, a broken wrist, a broken elbow, a broken scapula, a broken nose in two places, and of course my broken back. And I had all these injuries that was making it near impossible for me to... Um, yell for help and so all I could do at that moment see I was to the point where I was almost an atheist and all I could do at that point was cry out to God that was all I could do there was what well, I couldn't cry out to evolution evolution wasn't going to help me but I cried out to God and I told him this, this prayer happens all the time if you get me out of this I'll do whatever you want me to do people say that all the time but then they shut up afterwards well I'm not shutting up I'm telling you about my accident and I cried out to God and I heard a car coming by slowly, like that squeaky sound at the brakes. And I, I yelled for help as loud as I could, and I raised my hand. And the car went away, and then I, I heard it coming back again. And I, I raised my hand and I yelled for help, and I saw the officer that I had met with the night before. I saw his face. And I just passed out. Then I woke up and I saw a sheriff's deputy, a county 
cop. A good friend of mine, I saw his face. And then the next thing I remember, I was getting loaded up in the ambulance. And the doors were getting shut. And I saw my chief at, at my feet, and I said, Boss, am I going to be able to walk again? He said, Don't worry about that right now, bud. The, the doors closed, and there was a severe storm that came down. And if I would have been in that ditch, who knows if the water would have came over me. Who knows if I had been able to breathe. I had, I had to put my hand over my face to cover the water. It would have been bad. But I, I'm telling you, the Lord saved me. The Lord has been keeping me for these five years. I've been I've been growing. I what I mean by that is. I turned back to him. I repented of my sins. That means I turned from my sins and I turned towards God. I got in the Bible. I dusted that thing off and I got in the Bible. I read it through. I'm on my third time through now. And it is amazing. I cannot believe what I'm learning about God. But most importantly, what I learned about Jesus Christ how he came to this earth. He was the only son of God and he came to this earth. And and his whole life, he was a man of sorrows. His whole life was horrible. He was poor. His mother was a lunatic who said that, that he wasn't Joseph's son, that he was God's son. And so Jesus Christ came and he took the penalty that that is due to us. He took that penalty. He was scourged. You know what a scourging is? It's it's a handle and it's got these these little ends that come off of it, little whips. And at the end of the whips, there's there's uh, pieces of glass and bone that's tied onto that. And so when they get whipped. It tears into the skin and they, they pull it off and it, it, it reveals bone underneath. And it's, it's a, a horrible punishment. And Jesus took that punishment. And then they clothed him in, they, in, a, in a, a scarlet robe or a, a, a robe of like a king would wear. I don't know if it was scarlet. And they, they put a crown of thorns on him. It just dug into his his skull and it, it dripped blood. And they mocked him and they 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 punched him and they they slapped him. They spit in his face. And then lastly, they crucified him. And as they were crucifying, Jesus said, Forgive them, they know not what they do. And then when he was about to die he said it is finished and what was finished was he paid all of what needed to be paid for us to be able to get back and have a relationship with God and that's why I am telling you this that's why I'm telling you this because right now we're in we're unprecedented times We've never seen times like this before. The coronavirus and all this stuff that's going on. We're shut in our houses. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day. We don't know who to believe. Who to turn to. What to do. But I'm telling you. There's one you can turn to. That tells the truth. If you don't have a Bible, you can get... The U version Bible. Look for that online. You can get that and download it on your phone. You can try to find your, your paper Bible and dust that thing off like I did. Begin to read it. Start in Matthew and read through the Gospels and see how awesome Jesus Christ 
is and what he what he did for us i'm telling you there's hope <clears throat> there's always hope in the lord no matter what we're going through i tell you this from a wheelchair where there should be no hope turn to him and look to him and i just want to thank you for taking the time in the days when the videos that we watch are, we look for short videos. So I thank you for taking the time to listen to this story. And I, you know, I just pray that you find the Lord. <laughs>